Hello guys, it's Alex from the Farm Advice today. Welcome to a 24th basic Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going off what we learned in the last tutorial about reading lines and text files and all that good stuff and working on writing a text file. And it's actually not that hard if you know reading well. So let's get a new document open here. New new uh and then we can say uh shows how to write a text file and then say creating a text file with the right method spell that right and in order to do that as you may know you open and we're going to call write it dot txt uh, and it's going to be in mode w meaning write so once we do that we will be actually let's just write some stuff in that text file dot write let's say line one and new line there Text file dot write line this is line two text file write this is line three and we are just going to uh save this as write it dot py and we're gonna run this file. Uh, what happened here? Oh, I didn't close the quotation marks there. Right? So, okay, once you run it, there should now you should go to wherever you saved this thing and see if you can find the right it file. Here it is for me. I found it, and it has nothing in it right now. So. We got it, but nothing is written in there. So there is probably something wrong or something that we didn't include here. But I'm gonna be looking through this right now. Um, Alright, I cannot see the error for this. Oh, actually, you know what? It's probably because I didn't close the file. In the last toy, I told you how important it is to close the file. That's that may be one of the reasons for what happened. And yep, here we go. Line one, this is line two, this is line three, that's what happened. So yeah guys, again a classic mistake there. You gotta close it out because if you don't, you saw how there was nothing inside the uh text file. So we have that done. Now uh, just to prove that this works, you can actually just do a print here. Here's another way that you can prove. Do what we learned from the last tutorial on how to read stuff and just use the R uh, mode. And that's just going to show you how useful this thing actually is. Reading and writing, uh, let's see what happened here. Okay, comma, not a period. Uh, oh my god, I'm making mistakes all over the place right now. Okay, but yeah, here we go. Line one, this is line two, line three. So that's how you prove that it actually works, or you can actually go to the physical file and uh, find it right here, which that wasn't there before. Trust me. Okay, so how. Now, how do you write a list of strings to a text file? Because we learn how to write strings, not a list. So, let's do that. And that's not hard either. I'm just going to get rid of all of this. You should pause the video if you still need that. Okay, and I'm just going to do... Change this print method to... Uh, create a text file with read lines method and 
this is the method that it's like re oh right lines right lines and v lines are essentially the same thing one is to write one is to read uh lists of strings so it's it's pretty intuitive and let's just write something here lines is equal to line one this is line two and this makes this line three. All right, close that out. Close the brackets out. And then all we have to do is do text file dot write lines. Use the method and just put lines in, which is what we just we assigned all this to lines and close out the file. And to prove that actually works, text file equals open write it dot txt mode r and again once you read it you also have to close it as well. But before I do that, I'm gonna use the read method and then I'm gonna close it out. There we go. Now let's run this thing and then here it is. Line 1, this line 2, and this makes this line 3. And that's basically stored in the text file, write it. Okay, so that's that. And basically that's all you need to really know for now. Hopefully this helped on how to write. And now you know how to read and write things in a text file. We, I actually did a... A uh, video on a real life experience on using this. So please check out those videos. If those are confusing, uh, leave a comment in either this video or the, in that video. And just basically have any questions, leave that in the comment section. I'll get back to you as fast as I can. So, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe if you still haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.